Welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray on ESPN 790 AM. Brought to you proudly by Tennessee Wildlife Resource Agency, Barton Power Sports, Sportsman's Warehouse, and Best Care Home Services. A hey, good Saturday morning. Welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray. A great talking to our good friend Mark Rose, uh, FLW, uh, a professional bass fisherman who is uh, third in the Angler of the Year, FLW. And, of course, being from West Memphis, uh, Mark Rose is. And we've got the West Memphis, the Forest City, the Memphis, uh, the Jonesboro. All the connections here with Frank Barton from Barton Power Sports. And good morning, Frank, again. Good morning, Larry, and good morning, everybody. And now, Frank, I know you're interested. You know, I got keeping your wet, it's your firearm clean. Now, as a duck hunter, let, let's talk a little bit about it's important, isn't it? Every day. Every day, yeah. Because if you're a duck hunter, especially. If you're a duck hunter. And so that's why I wanted to talk. When, and we've had these folks on before. Uh, Super Brush uh, LLC out of uh, Springfield, Massachusetts. And we've got uh, Ethan Buckley on the line with us this morning. He's the sales associate. But he's also on top of some new products that come out of Star Chamber. Uh, and good morning, Ethan. Good morning, guys. Thank you for having me this morning. Yeah, let's let's talk uh, firearms. Let's talk keeping it clean. I just gave, uh, I didn't give him, I, I let one of my friends take my 270 that I've had for a long time, and I thought I'd kept it clean, but uh, he's got it now, and he's got some of your, he's he's like a kid in a candy shop with these things. So tell our listeners a little bit about the company itself, and then uh, some of the new products you guys have got out to uh, really help people keep their firearms clean. So Super Brush is actually a medical company, but inside of it, really? um, okay. we have a, company called Swabits, which is our firearm product. Uh, and it, it's, it's all for, it, it's essentially the same exact equipment that is used in the medical field, but we've designed it so that it's great for cleaning out areas like the barrel of your firearm, getting inside the rifling. Um, we have our gun tip line for getting in those harder to reach areas, such as the slides, rails, bolt carriers. Our claim to fame is all of our stuff is lint-free, solvent and lubricant friendly and washable and reusable. So this is like uh, the same thing the coroner may use is the same thing we might use in our weapon, our firearms. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you have it right. That, that's true. Now, Frank's making a face over here, but that's uh, the medical side is uh, is to do this. And, 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 and these, when I got them in here, and so the new products, what's new for 2017? So our brand new product for 2017 is an AR-15 star chamber cleaner. And it's designed to get inside of the barrel extension in your AR. And the barrel extension is essentially where the barrel and the upper receiver connect and meet. Um, in common language, we all know this area as the star chamber. Yes, okay. And, and folks, that's how, why do you think they're called the star chamber? I mean, the, the company is using that as, as part of their, as people know it. But the boar sticks and the boar whips and these other things and the popularity of different things. I got to say, Ethan, when I looked over this, of course, I love the logo here. I mean, this this looks like my third grade teacher. Um, this we don't use no stinking patches. <laughs> did, did, you weren't the one that came up with that, were you? No, you know what? Michelle was the one who came up with that. Okay. And I know you've talked to her before. I have, the, and I, uh, I just wanted well. to make sure because this is one of my favorite things is is this uh, t all these teeth on this thing right here, and we don't use no stinking patches. And I, I am so fed up with patches, you know, it, it, to get these things and to keep them clean as it is. And, and a lot of folks, let's talk a, a little bit about the uh, – the, the evolution of what the company's done now, and you're actively involved in the, te the technical support part of this thing. And I think you were most, you've been, you've been involved in, in a lot of these uh, new products, right? I have. Yep. Um, I helped launch the bore sticks and the star chamber cleaner. Um, I, I actually was the one to design the head shape of the star chamber 
to give you that tight fit in there, but uh-huh. still be able to make it past the locking lugs. And I know that when I look through this thing, Ethan, I got to ask you, you've actually hiked the Andes? Oh, yes. I, uh, <laughs> I when I was a kid, a uh, my grandfather used to work in Peru at a company called Doe Run. Uh-huh. And uh, so I would always go out there and my mother and I, we would hike up and down, um, been to Machu Picchu. Um, we've hiked everywhere, it seems like. <laughs> um, most recently, I spent all of my college years out in Colorado hiking the Rockies. Man, this guy, you, you know, I, I love when I get bios from people because there's little tidbits in there. I love to find out the human side of people I'm talking to. Uh, you've been a ranch hand in Colorado, a zookeeper in Maine, and you've hiked the Andes Mountains, and you're working for Swabitz. This has got to be a fun <laughs> life, man. You know what? I, I have had a, a great short life, uh, <laughs> and uh, it, it it's just, you know what? I, I love getting out there. I love seeing new things. Um, I love meeting new people. Um, the outdoors is truly just everything to me. I try to spend my weekends out camping, or um, I have a dog that I take hiking everywhere I can, and of course, every weekend I try to get to the range and dirty up a gun. Oh, I, 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 Frank's got a question. I, right. I, I do. Uh, Ethan, I've, I was looking at the brochure, and I'll be honest with you, I was not familiar with Schwabitz before uh, getting ready for this show, but I'm looking at the brochure, and, and, and folks at, at listening at home, um, the Schwabit, you know, the, these, these bore cleaners, um, and these bore sticks are foam and the directions for use say, among other things, wash the bore tip with grease cutting soap and warm water, rinse when clean. Now I'm 61 years old. I've been hunting all my life. And if somebody had told me to wash, use water to wash one of my guns, I would look at them like they're crazy. Why don't you talk about that? Because I think it's pretty interesting. So you're not actually using uh, water with our product inside of your firearm. What you're going to do is after you've finished cleaning your firearm with our products, um, you're going to take our product to the sink and wash it off just as you're washing your hands off as well. Uh, So the water is not touching your firearm. Our products are made of foam but they are also solvent and lubricant friendly. So you could use something like Godzilla or Breakthrough or Hoppies, Uh um, Frog Lube. Yep. Any of those things. So it's a combination. So you're cleaning them over the sink. That's what I'm starting. You're cleaning, you're actually, you're cleaning the foam and that's where the deal about, uh, we don't need no stinking patches, uh, because you're reusing this product over and over and over again yeah you're not with, changing with soap and water yeah you're not changing pa- uh, patches all the time right throwing them in a wastebasket or whatever it might be and this is not a rookie company right ethan you've been around for a while no 65 yes, years we've is been that... around for six years now um but of course our medical side has been around for almost 65 years golly yeah yeah and, and that's what's the the cool thing about this and i guess a guy in your position uh has to know be pretty knowledgeable in firearms. Uh, I, I'm going to ask you this. You don't have to answer me. I understand you collect firearms. You going to give me an idea of how many firearms Ethan Buckley has? <laughs> um, We're in Memphis. You know, so I. What? We're in Memphis, so nobody's going to come to your house tonight. Okay. I mean, come on. So <laughs> I'm just interested. You know. Well, you know what, Larry? I am a. I am a kid who was raised in the Midwest. Uh, my grandfather collected gra- collected firearms. My great grandfather collected guns. Um, so, I am essentially the only son of the only son of the only son, and I now have lots of different firearms. Um, I can tell you that my newest uh, toys are: I bought a brand new um, IMI Uzi Model A. Oh, um, it has never been fired. Yeah. And that is my new toy. Um, I just clean it, it seems like. I, I really don't want to fire it because it's never been fired. Um, it, it's currently hanging in my uh, display case at my house. Wow. Well, okay. Well, I, I, I figured you have to have a, a firearms background to even do what you're doing right now. And uh, is, is, that, uh, 
is that the coolest thing you've got, or what's the uh, what's the oldest? Yeah, what's the oldest? The oldest firearm I have is I, and actually I bought it for my father for Christmas. I bought him a Henry Aston um, from 1851. Wow. Wow. I think I saw that in a Jimmy Stewart movie. Civil Civil War era. Yeah, the Civil War era, prior to the Civil War era. Again, we're talking to Ethan Buckley, uh, uh, a good friend at uh, Swabitz Firearm Products Division, a super brush out of Massachusetts. All right, so Ethan, tell us... uh, for my listeners out there, where they can get information, where do, where can they get the products? You can pick up all of our products on swabit.com. Okay. Um, and uh, like I said, you know, the biggest part is all of our products are washable and reusable. They last a very long time. Um, you can pick up our brand new board sticks on there for 9 millimeters, 357, 38 specials. Um, you can also pick up, of course, the Star Chamber Cleaners for the AR-15. It's amazing, amazing. Ethan, thank you, and uh, be sure and tell Pam hello and all the gang up there, and uh, we will stay in touch. Folks, I've got a couple of these things. I'm going to give away a couple of these on Open Mic Saturday on the first Saturday in July because they've sent me some of these uh, new Star Chamber claiming foam pads, uh, the AR and the M- M- R- M4. Thank you, Ethan. We'll talk to you. Have a great day, okay? Thank you, Larry. Appreciate it, buddy. All right. Let's take another break on Outdoors with Larry Ray. Uh, you knew he, he wasn't going to tell me how many fires he had. Neither would I. Neither would you. <laughs> all right. We'll be right back. You can find out all about it all. Outdoors with Larry. 